Welcome to On Air with Cash. Our guest today is an actress, singer, and model. She booked her first feature film, Flying Lessons, at age four. She's appeared in the hit series, Modern Family, Disney's Special Agent Oso, Three Healthy Steps, Alien Encounters, and Jimmy Kimmel Live. Please welcome Alyssa de Bois Blanc. Hey. <laughs> Alyssa, how are you? I'm doing great. I know we've run into each other a few times the last couple of months. You are always busy. I mean, yep. let's go back to your first role. I mean, it was Flying Lessons with a Nikki Deloach. Yeah, um, I don't remember too much about actually filming it because I was fairly small, but I do remember that I got my own like trailer and I thought, oh, this is it. I'm the biggest movie star. And my favorite scene was one where I got to sit on the swing and swing. Like of all the scenes that could be my favorite, it was that one. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I know, and I've met Nikki a few times. Very lovely, she's Very so sweet. cool. Yeah, and then you go on to book Modern Family. Oh my God, the most fun I think I've had on set. Everyone was so kind and so nice. I was chatting about Stranger Things with Sofia Vergara in the makeup, uh, the makeup trailer. And, you know, it was so funny at the end because me and Aubrey were trying to finish this last scene and we could not look at each other without laughing for whatever reason. So the, the poor director was like, okay, you guys literally just don't look at each other. Do not make eye contact in this scene. But we got through it, we got through it though. <laughs> But you pulled through. It was a brilliant performance. It was a great episode. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. And you've you've really been passionate about your stage roles and your love for singing. I mean, you've appeared in Christmas Carol the Musical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been singing since, oh my gosh, before I could even read. I would just listen to music on the radio and I would try my best to memorize lyrics. Um, one of the first songs that I genuinely, like, genuinely remember loving so much and memorizing all the lyrics to and bringing it to my singing class and being like, this is the song that I love was Love Story by Taylor Swift. <laughs> I think I was probably three. Mm -hmm. I was very small and I think it, there's, there's definitely a video somewhere on the internet of me singing it, but I went on to trying to get out and perform and I want to say I was probably five when I first like performed live and it was uh, maybe from Annie and I just loved like theater because of that and as you said I went on and did uh, Les Mis I did two different um, variations of Christmas Carol I also did something called Arts on Broadway which was really fun which was basically like a big cabaret of a bunch of musical theater songs so so fun I, I really miss theater through this whole, whole COVID <laughs> oh I know I, I know things are starting to open back up again but you also have, you you did do a funny um, pandemic video too. I've seen your YouTube page. You know, you put a lot of your songs, you're singing, yes. and you did do a, a very funny, and you sing in this as well too. Yeah, um, it's the song, I know it's today from Shrek, but I rewrote the lyrics to kind of have to deal with COVID, which um, at the time, I think we were like maybe two months in. And unfortunately it was a little bit too accurate to how it ended up going. Because <laughs> it was like maybe a year from now, We kind of made it a year from now, a little over a year from then. Um, it was really fun. I had just, it happened to come on shuffle on my Spotify and I was like, wait, this would be fitting for COVID. I'm going to rewrite the lyrics to this. And then we just filmed a little video and put them on. I know it was brilliant how you did it. And I like it just even like you said, you thought it was going to be a year and then you'd go from just the start of it. Then you have the mask and everything. So yeah, you were, you were pretty accurate in your timeline. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've seen uh, some of your other work on your YouTube page and I know that that's really where you want to like shift gears and really focus on the writing yeah. and singing. Yeah, that's really where, I, once again, COVID has kind of caused me to have to just like sit down and think about more of a direction of where I want to go with things. And I actually sat down and taught myself the ukulele and from there taught myself the guitar over quarantine. And I've just been sitting and writing a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, I've been talking to another writer and we've been working on some music as well. So I'm really hoping to be able to record that and put some stuff out very soon. I'm super excited with what I have so far. <laughs> That's amazing. So when you get an idea for a song, what's your process? Do you write down something you're going through and then how do you, you have great range. I've seen different videos that you've done, different styles. Yeah. So do you go with like a general idea? Yeah, I'm just curious in your process and how yeah, you yeah. see your vision coming in. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it'll be like, I'll be up at 3 a.m. texting with my friend and she'll say something that will just be like, oh, wait, that's that. You know what? Keep that in mind. I got to go write that down real quick. Or sometimes I'll be listening to a song or an album and like I'll, there'll be an idea that I'll be like, oh, this is kind of been, this is kind of something similar that has happened to me. Let me write this, but 
my experiences. A lot of the times it's um, Taylor Swift, uh, specifically the album Folklore. I get a lot of inspiration when it comes to writing from that. Her writing style is absolutely amazing. I aspire to just be that like prolific in writing. I, I love her style. Oh, I know, I'm a big fan of Taylor Swift as well. <laughs> She's really I mean, great, I absolutely love her. And I'll literally like, I'll just sit for hours and listen to the album on repeat over and over again and write songs like whether it'll be like the industry as a whole or personal experiences with like friends or relationships that kind of thing and I don't know I just hope to have people that can relate to it because I know so many people relate to her music or so many other artists music and I hope to be able to um, portray my music in a way that other people are like, yeah, I can relate to that, or yeah, I can understand that, and that's what I'm hoping to do. I love music. I have such a respect for musicians. I just, you know, I mean, there was a period where I was writing songs, or I, it was like an English class, I was writing poetry, but I, yeah. I always came from more of a, I just see things better through movies and television, <laughs> so that was always yeah. my thing, but I know it is, I mean, I remember having like write poems and songs, it's, you're wanting things to connect, and then just as far as my work goes, if I've had like a segment on this show, or just even a movie or a part that I've done and someone says, oh, wow, I connected with what your character, I know there's like, there's no bigger rush than, um, yeah. than that feeling that you did something that someone else connects with. Exactly. I've always had like an affinity for writing music, writing songs, writing poetry a lot. Um, I would always be pushing my English teachers in back when I was in public school to be like, can we do more poetry segments? Can we do this? You know, um, I definitely convinced my, uh, English teacher in I think seventh grade to allow me to do my final as a um, poem about Marie Antoinette. <laughs> oh. Everyone else wrote like an essay and I was like, but I'll just write a collection of poems. And she was like, okay, I wanna see how this turns out. <laughs> I got a good grade on it, so. I'm sure you did because it's out there that you are a straight A student. Yes. Also, I have to thank you and Jax and Samantha for teaching me and Caitlin how to do TikTok. That was like, yes. that was one thing we did not know. So when Jax reached out and said, you two are coming over and we're gonna show you how it's done. We're like, okay, you aren't messing around. When the marshmallow shooters came out. <laughs> I know, I, we have a very okay. candid look. I was like, how does this work? And then it just shot right out. I'm like, oh, there we go, okay. They're so powerful. I know that was such a fun day. I'm so proud of you. I mean, you act, you sing. You've had success on in all these areas. Is there anything that you want to put out for your fans? Yeah, you know, I am really trying my best to start getting my vlogs and more fun videos back up on my YouTube channel, start pushing more music like I've been teasing for a while, but I actually just filmed a vlog. It should be up already by <laughs> by the time you're seeing this it should be up already um it's me and my friend went to one direction night at club 90s very fun um very very chaotic <laughs> but i'm gonna try to be posting weekly however i am still in school so you'll have to bear with me <laughs> school comes first school does come first unfortunately <laughs> i can't wait to see what you put out next your original content and i can't wait to see you yeah. live yes i'm really excited about live shows starting back up again um before covid i was performing at the cabo wabu cantina um at hollywood and highland and the rainbow bar and grill which is one of my absolute favorite places to perform and those shows will be starting up again soon so be on the lookout on my instagram um we're gonna rock out it's gonna be super fun um live band rock music it's super fun so go ahead and you know make sure to pay attention on my instagram i'll be posting on my stories and posting on my main page about when a show finally happens and i hope to see you guys all there Alyssa, i cannot thank you enough for your time today this was thank amazing you. i'm a big fan of your work i can't wait to get out and start rocking out live thank you so much thank you for having me <laughs> anytime Thank you so much for rocking out with me and Alyssa today. You are on air with Cash. <laughs>